conflicts of interest. Obviously none. Um, look, at this point, uh, welcome Simon, uh, who is uh, uh, GM at, the, at this moment. Thank you, Simon. Thank you. Um, my chairperson's report is very, there's very, you know, we, we're living in confused times and uh, we're just doing the best we can with our, with our with, uh, business as you, as it, as the best way we can. So I haven't got anything particular to report uh, under my chairman's report. And all the agenda item that we have uh, for the meeting is the confirmation of minutes. So if we move to agenda item number 6.1, the um, confirmation of minutes, is somebody prepared to move that this is a true and accurate uh, recording of uh, uh, our last meeting? Uh, and uh, his worship, all those in favor, please say aye. Against, carried. Right, well, Simon, is there anything you would wish to say at this stage, or uh, are, we, are, we, uh, are we almost finished our meeting? Um, thank you, Mr. Chair. Perhaps a quick update on the status of our facilities. Obviously, today we enter into level three lockdown. Um, the facilities obviously still remain closed. Um, a lot of work has got into in terms of transition plan and putting procedures into place for level three. But the big shift and the big impact will be once we hit level two. Um, what restrictions are going to be in place for the community facilities um, and what that will mean for the general public. Um, so there's a bit of guesswork going on at the moment based on what we had prior to at the level four lockdown, um, but there's still a lot of detail to be confirmed. Um, what we're likely to see is the facility is allowed to open, but restrictions on the number of gathering, num number of people gathering in one place, um, and we need to take that into account. There could be potentially some contact tracing, um, which will just add to the, the protocols and the procedures that, that we need to work through. Um, the team uh, uh, obviously redeployed their staff where they can, um, and we've got quite a number working in that community welfare space, doing home deliveries, um, but also a number of outbound calls. So at the moment, we are approaching 4,000 outbound calls to. Um, but in, into the older members of our community. Um, one of the things that we have looked at is bringing forward some of those um, uh, future maintenance programs. So the maintenance of the pool, we've brought that forward into the level three period where we can actually um, complete a number of the activities without impacting on the public. And that would obviously mean that we wouldn't need to close in October. Interestingly, we did a site tour last week just to check the activity and the preparation for the maintenance. Um, being such a humid environment at Sea Bay, um, and now with a lot of that facility closed down, um, it's quite dry, um, and that has had an impact on our flooring. Um, it's actually started to lift in a number of places, um, which has meant that we've had to bring forward that uh, maintenance plans for October. Um, so the team are working on that. Uh, and hopefully uh, we'll get everything done in the two week lockdown period um, as forecast. Um, a lot of activity happening in this space. Happy to take any questions that anyone's got. Thank you, Simon. Councillor Riley. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Simon. Um, just on the, is there any progress read the Tamuga Pools Lino, is it left Italy? Is it started, or is it? Uh, are we looking for next year, or any decisions being made there? Yeah, great question. I actually, I don't know the update on that on that liner. Um, I know as we went into level four, that was look, not looking good at all. Um, but I'll follow up for you um, and give you an update. Thank you. Anybody else or something? I can't sit, just yell or do something. <laughs> is there nothing going on? Oh look, um, sorry Rich, just one question. So you're hopeful, Simon, if you do that two-week maintenance program, that won't mean a close down potentially later in the year, is that correct? Yeah, that would be the goal. Um, yeah. Let's bring everything forward now, um, utilise what we can in that space, 
Um, we're going to be reliant on the availability of the contractors, their ability to work within the constraints of a level three requirement. Um, and it's just a matter of juggling from a logistic point of view. Um, and again, similar with the library, making use of the period where we're close to the public, um, getting some of that uh, ceiling work done. Interestingly, talking with the team, just as inside, sorry, um, we put the waterproof uh, membrane on top of the library roof. Great, done the job as you were expected to do, really good. Um, there's a certain amount of moisture still left in the roof space and the cavity, so obviously it can't go up and out. Um, but it's, so it's actually started to come in. So there's further signs of um, water damage in there. So that um, ceiling work is, it had to be accelerated. So the team have been busy prepping for that um, and walking through the, uh, the health and safety plans on site today to prep that work. And where's the, um, the carpet at as far as the library? Is there any chance in getting any of that started through this period? Yeah, good question. I don't know the detail on that yet. I know the focus is on the on the ceiling. Um, it'll depend um, how long we're in level three, really. But the aim being, if the doors are closed to the public, let's get as much done as we possibly can. Thank you. Thank you. Is that over there with the questioning? Or? Can I speak? Richard, sorry. Can, may I ask a question? Just. Uh, I'm, I'm interested to hear about the, the roof. You, you, uh, Song, so are you saying it's still leaking? Because there should, once that seals nope. on, there shouldn't be any water coming in. No, that's right. The roof's perfect. The roof's done a great job, and that seal is, is absolutely water white. But I understand from the team that there was a certain amount of moisture in the existing materials underneath the new layer and the new roof. Um, and in the process of drying out, that's had an impact on the. Um, uh, the ceiling space in the library itself. Okay. Councillor Pellegrin. A left field question, Simon. My mother's an avid book reader at 89. Any chance of the library going contactless? You order books online and get them if, it, if we keep at this level further than two weeks? Short answer, yes. Um, Adele and the team have been looking at that and putting together packages um, in terms of bundles of, of goodies for, for different members. So um, watch this space. Cool, thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you all. Thank you, Simon. Thank you very much. That's very, very really appreciate that. Thank you. Well, look, that really uh, concludes our meeting. Uh, we had not, no items of urgent business and we had no minor nature matters. So. That concludes this uh, standing committee. Thank you.